Hello, I am Hong Seung-hee from Department of Material and Science. In this video, I will introduce you about ultra cold atoms. First, I will briefly introduce you the concept of the ultra cold atoms, and then introduce you the Bose-Einstein condensation, which is one of the major applications of ultra cold atoms. Now, let me introduce you the concept of ultra cold atoms. The concept is very simple. If you cool down the atom to near zero Kelvin, the absolute zero, you will get ultra cold atom. <laughs> okay, that's too simple, isn't it? Let's concentrate on why it's so interesting. The ultra cold atom is interesting because quantum mechanical properties become much more important and apparent. We will talk about its application and properties later on. Then, how do we make it? The concept of it is very simple, but since we have to cool the atom down to extremely low temperature, we have to use some special techniques. First, we have to trap the atoms in magneto-optical trap and cool it by using laser cooling method. See these three pairs of lasers in this figure? These will cool the atoms down to sufficiently low temperature. However, to get close to the absolute zero, we need further procedure. That is the evaporation cooling method. In evaporative cooling, the atoms are trapped in certain trapping potential. Then the atoms with high energy will escape the potential, taking away some energy. Therefore, the overall energy gets lower, leading to decrease in temperature. Repeating this process several times by lowering the trapping potential, the temperature can reach to absolute zero. Now let's go over some interesting experiments done with ultra cold atoms. There are several experiments such as quantum phase transition, Bose-Einstein condensation, bosonic superfluidity, quantum magnetism, and etc. However, in this video, as mentioned at the beginning, we will focus on Bose-Einstein condensation. Now, before we go over Bose-Einstein condensation, we need to understand the concept of boson. Boson is one of two elementary particles, the other being fermion. Boson has unique property compared to fermion. As you can see in this figure, multiple bosons can exist in same quantum state, while fermion cannot. Boson can be either fundamental particles or composite particles. In this figure, five kinds of fundamental bosons are shown, which are photons, charged weak bosons marked as W, and neutral weak boson marked as G, and gluons and Higgs boson. However, in nature, most bosons exist as composite particles such as mesons or particle containing even number of fermions. For example, helium-4. Now, let me explain both Einstein condens condensation, which is often abbreviated as BEC. The definition of BEC is the state of matter formed by cooling down the gas of bosons with extremely low density to near absolute zero. Here, the gas of boson have extremely low density, which is 100,000 times less dense than normal air. In BEC, microscopic quantum mechanical phenomena becomes macroscopically apparent. To explain this in more detail, I will use some figures. As you all know, small particles show wave-like behavior in quantum mechanics. So let's assume that these two red dots are bosons. 
at low temperature, atoms become similar to wave. And as temperature decreases, the wave size increases. When the wave size becomes larger than average distance between the atoms, all atoms can have the same energy in same quantum state because they are bosons. This makes the atoms to form a single collective quantum wave, which is both Einstein condensate. This BEC was experimentally observed first in 1938 as superfluid. It was formed by cooling down helium-4, which is boson, to temperature lower than 2.17 Kelvin. It showed some unusual properties of having zero viscosity and existence of quantized vortices. However, superfluid, as you can see from its name, is more close to liquid than gas. So the scientist was able to make a gas form of BEC, which is dilute atom gas. It was formed in 1999 with rubidium-87 with about 2,000 atoms of rubidium. It was done by cooling the atom below 170 nanokelvin using the laser and evaporative cooling. A few months later, another team was able to make dilute atom gas of sodium-23 with about 10, 100 times more atoms than rubidium case. This dilute gas shows similar properties to the superfluid. Now let's look at this figure. This is the figure showing velocity distribution data of rubidium-87. Here, rubidium atoms were most abundant in white and blue area. And in the red area, the fewest rubidium atoms existed. The leftmost figure is the state before the BEC formation. And the right two figure shows the state after BEC formation. This result shows that most atoms have lowest velocities in white area. However, the peaks were not extremely narrow as in theory, which is because of Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Like this, BEC and ultra cold atoms have very interesting properties. And nowadays, scientists are researching them for application to very various areas, including quantum computer and quantum simulator. So this is the end of my video and thank you for your kind attention.